What's up, Internet? Welcome to our review of the mobile lens, uh, mobile camera clip lens for your smartphones, tablets, webcams, anything of that nature. So, upon receiving the package, once you order one, you open it and this is what you get. This is a complete unboxing. You unclip the clip and you're left with this piece of paper. It has a logo. Flip it around. You've got instructions, which, you know. I didn't read. It seemed pretty self-explanatory, which kind of caused some uh, some issues. We'll go over that in a second. But basically, what you get is a clip. And if it were just a clip, you know, sans camera, everything like that, it would be a damn good clip. Uh, basically, you know, I don't have anything here. Here, we'll just use the. Um, you clip it on, and it stays on. It's a. It does what it's supposed to. So how does the whole thing work? You take this off, you got your lens cap here, set that down, and you got your wide angle lens. Clip that onto the back of your uh, back of your camera, we'll use this like that, and you take a picture, and you move on. But I know a lot of you are thinking, Nick, if you got the uh, wide angle lens, it's supposed to have the macro as well. How do I take macro pictures? And it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is unscrew this right here. And underneath, boom, you got your macro lens. Now, when you use your macro lens, what's gonna happen is you're going to have this little extra piece of luggage right here that is small enough to be easily lost. You're not gonna wanna lose this. You're gonna wanna hold on to it because if you lose this, you not only lose half of your clip's abilities and functions, you lose your lens cap, because you can't use that, and this could get scratched, and you're just going to have to hold by, buy a whole new one, and that's not any fun for anybody. So, keep track of this thing if you're using your macro lens a lot. Also, I forgot to mention, there's a logo right there, nice little touch. And uh, as I had just mentioned, I did not read the instructions. These things did not read them at all. Thought I could figure it out. Uh, I was on their website and I noticed that the pictures had the clip, this lens, and uh, this little thing you can see right here separate. So this little stringy thing that's entangled in there was separate from that. And I thought that meant that that thing, the little stringy, was supposed to come off of this thing. It doesn't. I spent a solid two, three minutes fiddling with it before I realized I was just a moron. Because what this does, the function of this thing, it is magnetized and it clips, kind of just sticks itself to the back of the lens. And that just serves, you know, as protection, you know, when you're clipping it to anything that might scratch the back of your lens. And, uh, you know, I wasn't entirely truthful when, you know, I say that that's all you got to do to take a picture. You actually have to run your finger through there and disconnect that. It's not too laborious. Don't worry about it. It's not going to cause you any heartache or, you know, any serious time to do that. Again, it is a pretty good clip, pretty sturdy clip. Uh, I'll throw up two pictures at the end here that uh, to kind of give you an example of the wide angle. I have a life proof case on my phone. I was using the instructions here. Um, and I noticed when using that that it was hard to let's say let's say this is the picture I took right here. The entire picture. I would always get like little uh, the corners would be black and no matter how much I fiddled with it or anything of that nature I could not get the lens perfectly to where it would be a completely clear picture. They would always have a little bit of black somewhere in the picture. Um, it's not a big deal to me. It might be a big deal to some people. So I'll show you a picture that I took of my desk that kind of just gives you an example of what to expect to see with the actual lens when you're taking pictures. Um, I, I honestly, I love it because it it doesn't add anything to your phone. It's not a permanent structure, which I think is a great quality for, you know, an extra lens. It's not, 
it's not going to add to the bulkiness of your pocket either. Uh, I clip it to my backpack strap. It's very out of the way. Uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't ever fall off or anything of that nature. So very out of the way in terms of you know carrying it around. Very out of the way of it doesn't stay on your phone. You don't have to keep it in your pocket and have a whole bunch of things with your keys and your phone, your wallet, anything like that. So I definitely would recommend the product if you're looking to you know get more use from your uh, phone lens or phone camera. Other than that, I believe I have covered everything there is to know about this uh, lens. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop us a line. We'll give you a honest, completely objective answer. Um, below this video is a link to buy the lens on their website. If you go to our website, um, brandnoob.com, there is a link there to buy the product. Uh, be sure to follow us on all our social media. We got the Twitter, we got the Facebook. Uh, obviously subscribe to our videos. We're going to be reviewing these kind of independently designed, created, funded products. So uh, until next time.